Good morning. I am here at the Annette Lake Trailhead in early December. We have a rare weather window here and today I'm going to be hiking out to Lake Annette which is a beautiful alpine lake up here near Suquamish Pass. It actually isn't even that cold this morning and I'm hoping that the cloud cover is going to burn off a little bit and we'll get to see some really beautiful mountain views. I'm going to get going up this trail. This trail is about seven and a half miles round trip with roughly 1800 feet of elevation gain. Should be a pretty easy trail and we're gonna hopefully get to see some beautiful mountains. Um, we had a very warm November so the snow hasn't really been sticking up here near the passes yet so keeping certain trails open and snow free a little bit longer than you would expect. I want to share a little bit about why I specifically picked this trail. I mean, it's a beautiful lake, it's a great hike, but I have another reason for choosing specifically Lake Annette. There are five lakes in Washington that are either called Lake Anne or have Anne in the name of the lake. Obviously, Lake Annette being one of them. I have been to two of the lakes called Lake Anne and I decided I wanted to create a little challenge for myself to see all of them. There are two more that after this I haven't been to and that would be Lake Anne up by Mount Baker and Lake Sally Ann along Section K of the PCT. I have plans to visit both of those lakes this next year and this year I will have visited three of them. So this is just part of a fun little challenge. I'm calling it the Lake Anne Challenge. Um, I just thought it was kind of funny that there are three lakes with the exact same name in Washington. Um, and they're all beautiful so far, so we'll see if Lake Annette holds up. I've reached a point where the trail actually comes out over here and then it crosses this um, maintenance road and then continues this direction. I wasn't really expecting to be crossing roads of any kind. It's kind of weird to come out of the forest and uh, cross a maintenance road, but yeah. And there are also a lot of beautiful waterfalls and water crossings. Of course, this late in the season, we'll be crossing this creek, but really beautiful trail so far. Okay, this is cool. Check out the waterfall coming out of a log. Another really cool part of the trail. 
Um, the trail starts off in really dense new growth. Um, kind of cool to be in such a dense forest, but not terribly beautiful. And then after you cross that road I talked about back there, you get to a section where there's some beautiful old growth. You've seen some really big trees like I showed you back there. And now I'm about to go over this really cool boardwalk. So this has been a really nice trail so far. A lot of neat features. Oh, wow. So there's this old growth tree that's fallen and it is the trail. How cool is that? Oh my God. That entire section of trail behind me is all this tree. They made the tree into the trail. That's awesome. a really interesting point. I don't know if you can see, but there is snow on top of these trees, but the trail still looks like this. So I am really excited. I just finished climbing up the switchbacks on this trail. Really easy, uh, gentle climb. And now I'm on the final like straight line push for the lake. And I'm getting like some peaks of some of the views to come. It's looking like we are going to be getting views and they are looking wintry. So I'm really excited to show you. But first, gotta keep climbing. This is a look at some of the avalanche shoots that are along this upper stretch of the trail. Um, this is another one that you don't wanna do in winter. Um, and if you do do it in winter, you wanna check the avalanche forecast because the upper slopes, um, this does cross quite a few avalanche chutes and it is very obvious looking at the plant life on this trail that it, they are avalanche chutes. You can just see everything flattened along stretches of the slope. So you can do this in winter when there's snow on the trail for sure, but you definitely want to check the avalanche forecast and be comfortable navigating in avalanche terrain because it is definitely a hazard on this trail in uh, proper winter with deeper snow. And then obviously in spring when you get into kind of melt out and stuff as well. So just something to keep in mind, but we haven't even hit like frozen ground yet, so no snow for me today. <laughs> If you like waterfalls, this is definitely the trail for you. I don't even know how many I've passed now and how many little creeks we've crossed and stuff, but they've all been beautiful. And maybe I'll count on the way back down, but yeah, if you like waterfalls on your trails, this is a good one. So this is the main avalanche chute on this trail. The other one I showed is pretty small, but this is the one where you definitely need to be careful when there's actual snow on it. Getting close.
I give you Lake Annette. It is absolutely beautiful. There's just like a crust of ice on the lake. It is so pretty and there is a little waterfall over on that side and here we go. So on this side over here we have Humpback Mountain. This is I believe a Beale Peak and then behind the trees over here um, you can get a look at uh, Silver Peak which is actually a really good viewpoint to look down on the lake so if you want to see the lake from above you climb Silver Peak. Behind me is a better look at Humpback Mountain. I came around the side of the lake where the trail continues a little bit to a much better viewpoint. And one of the cool things about this lake, I don't know why I think this is interesting. It's very round. It's like almost a perfect circle. And I am really excited to climb Silver Peak at some point. I don't know if I'm gonna be doing that this year and get like a view down onto Lake Annette because it looks really cool from above from the pictures I've seen. But this is like, the perfect early winter hike. So beautiful. I've just been like walking right along the frost and snow line. Like I haven't actually had to walk on snow, but like I'm walking on frosted ground where it's just hard and not icy yet. It's been kind of funny. And then just looking up and seeing the dusting of snow on the trees and the mountains around me. Absolutely beautiful. This lake has been absolutely beautiful and this trail is gorgeous. I highly recommend this. And one of the best things is I have only seen one other person on trail and I have the entire lake to myself. And I have to say, seeing all of the wintry trees and snow-capped mountains has just been like putting me in the Christmas spirit. It's so beautiful. And I forgot to mention, so it took me uh, an hour and a half to get up, and I'm expecting that that'll be much faster going back down. This has been a really easy trail. So yeah, uh, Lake Annette, a third lake checked off of my self-created Lake Anne challenge. And I have to say, this one is quite beautiful and worth checking out. I'm almost back down at the car. I hadn't actually planned on it, but I ended up trail running basically the entire way down. Once I got past the very short part at the top where there's kind of some frost and the ground was a little bit um, slippery. The rest of the trail is pretty dry and in really great shape for running. So um, I'm not even an hour in and I'm almost back down to the car. So this is actually a really great trail run. And um, yeah, I wasn't, I don't know what I was expecting with this trail, but this trail is beautiful. I have been counting waterfalls and um, I'm at 11. I'll put the final count at the bottom. I think it's going to be like 12 or 13. And so if you like waterfalls, this is definitely a good trail for you. You will get to see lots of them. Yeah, I can now check Lake Annette off of the Lake Anne Challenge and I'll make a playlist on the channel um, for you to see the two other Lake Annes that I was at this year and if you are feeling so inclined you can watch them and tell me which one is your favorite so far. Yeah I'm looking at probably three hours and 15 minutes uh, for a total round trip. This has been a great trail. I think my favorite part of the trail without question has to be the part 
that they turned, where they turned the uh, old growth tree into part of the trail. It's a really unique feature and I've done a lot of trails around here and I don't think I've seen that on any other trail. So that was really, really fun. I really like that. Yeah, I can definitely see this being a really good um, beginner hike. There's nothing terribly steep. Don't let the uh, elevation game put, put you off this one because it is really easy. The climb is really gentle and I don't think it will feel as much as climbing uh, 1800 feet. So I think that this would be a really good one if you're wanting to get out there and wanting to see one of our beautiful alpine lakes. Lake Annette I think would be a good place to start. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to follow me on more trails throughout Washington. And here are some of my favorite pictures from the trail. Enjoy.